let's go ahead and look at number one. Dakota, a dispatch manager, has graphed the cost of supplies needed for emergency volunteers. Use the graph to complete the table. All right, so first up, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look at my table and I see they wanna know what the cost is for two volunteers. I'm gonna go ahead and find volunteers on my graph and I notice that's at the bottom. So let's find two volunteers, go straight up until we reach a data point and that brings me to a cost of $40. The next amount of volunteers I'm going to look at is eight. Let's find where eight volunteers is. Go straight up until we reach a data point and straight over and we end up with a cost of $160. Right. Our last number of volunteers we're going to look at is 10. Find your 10 volunteers. Go straight up and straight over and we end up with a cost of 200. All right, so our next step is to figure out what our equation would be. This table, they did not leave us room for process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write it right in this first column, I have enough room. I notice I'm starting with a smaller number and I'm ending with a bigger number, which means I'm going to either multiply or divide. Since I'm getting bigger, I know I am going to multiply. So I'm gonna put my multiplication symbol in for each of these. Now I've gotta figure out what do I multiply two by to get to 40? Once again, if I'm not for sure, I can use that inverse operation. The opposite or inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to go ahead and take 40 divided by two. Go ahead and plug that into your calculator. If you are not for sure what 40 divided by two is, I'm gonna pull up my calculator. So let's take 40 divided by two and I get 20. So 2 times 20 is 40. Well, let's see if that same process works for 8. 8 times 20 is equal to 160 and according to my table that's what I should get. Let's try it with 10. 10 times 20 is equal to 200. That's what it says in the table as well. So now we're ready to go ahead and write our equation. Remember, we're gonna use the first letter in each word. So I'm gonna use a V for volunteer and a C for cost. One way I can write this is I took my volunteers, or number of volunteers, and I multiplied it by 20 every single time. So volunteers times 20 equals, every single time it equals our cost. Just like in the example, I could also flip these around and have that my cost is equal to my volunteers and I'm still multiplying them by 20. That's question number one.